My name is Joseph Baker. I'm originally from Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. I'm the youngest of four. I have an oldest sister and two older brothers. Uh, an important part for me growing up in my decision uh, eventually to enter the seminary and study for the priesthood was serving uh, as a child. So in seventh and eighth grade, I remember a lot of times coming over to the, to the church and serving for adoration, uh, serving for mass, serving for a funeral. And that was just important for me to see the daily life of a priest, the things that priests did from uh, very happy moments in people's lives to sad moments, to moments where they're just praying in silence, just kind of covering the spectrum of, of the things that we all encounter in life. After high school, I attended the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and my faith that I was given as a, as a, as a child was important because it gave me a certain sense of, of boundaries and things I should and shouldn't do. Um, and I credit with that, you know, just in my time starting off at the university in a very uh, uh, secular culture and a culture of uh, enjoying everything that life has to offer in excess, uh, to keeping me within reasonable bounds and giving me a certain sense of what, what was right and what was wrong. Uh, so then after my first year, that's when I started to reflect more and more about my own life, and I had left room for God in that equation and maybe what God had in store for me. Uh, a big step then was to actually tell a priest at that point that I was interested in the seminary. It was something I was very reluctant to do, uh, overly so at the end of the day. Uh, I made a lot more out of it, made it a lot more painful than it should have been. Uh, but just talking to a priest, telling him I was interested, and then just praying on a regular basis, uh, was an important part. Eventually, uh, with the help of this priest and working with the vocation director, I made the decision midway through my sophomore year uh, to leave the university to uh, kind of get, get out of this environment uh, and go into the seminary just as a space where I could uh, pray more and just grow in virtue and grow in my own uh, awareness of myself. I went to Immaculate Heart of Mary Seminary uh, in Winona, Minnesota. And after a year and a half there, I got a call from the bishop asking me for, to apply for a program in Washington, D.C., where I would take extra courses in philosophy. And that uh, ended up adding a little bit more time on my training, but something looking back, I'm really happy that I, I, I uh, applied for and was accepted to, because I think philosophy is a really useful skill in reaching people where they're at in society and bridge that gap between where they're at and trying to bring them to God. I've now spent some time uh, in Rome, uh, and it's just been a wonderful opportunity. One thing I've been able to do is give tours underneath the uh, Basilica of St. Peter in the Scavi, which is just a fancy word for excavations, and to see the bones of St. Peter myself, uh, to hold the box that, that they're in, a clear uh, plexiglass box. And one of the bones that pilgrims can see, uh, and I think it's a really powerful a uh, tool to remind us that the apostles just aren't cartoons, they're not figments of our imagination, is the jawbone of St. Peter. And uh, I think that's so important because it's the same jawbone that when Christ asked, who do you say that I am, responded, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And just how powerful that sometimes it's hard for me to even say that to people when I'm giving tours. But just to see people, how moved they are, and seeing the church and uh, uh, the rock Peter there buried underneath St. Peter's, and then uh, up to today with uh, Pope Francis and the wonderful witness he's giving us, uh, seminarians studying there, um, just in, in his concern for the poor, uh, for all sorts of uh, social justice issues, uh, and really uh, going out and meeting the people of the city of Rome has just been so beautiful.